Iran has only conceded two goals so far in the final round of World Cup qualifying, but some people think there is still a reason to be concerned. On today's episode, we'll be talking about Iran's two starting center backs, Hossein Kanani and Shoja Khaliazadeh. You know the deal, and you know what time it is. It's time for Team Ellie Talk. Should Hossein Kanani and Shoja Khaliazadeh be concerned about their starting jobs? And for today's edition, that's exactly what we're getting right into, the debate as to whether or not Hossein Kanani and Shoja Khaliazadeh perhaps maybe should be replaced at the starting center back positions. And of course, we have the perfect guest once again, not only an Iranian football expert, but also a longtime fan of Paris Police, and that is Dara Zarandi. Dara, glad to have you back on Team Ellie Talk. How's it going, man? Always a pleasure, Art. Thanks for having me back on. Does Iran have a problem at the center back position? Now, Dara, when I think about this, you know, of course, focusing on the play of Hossein Kanani and Shoja Khaliazadeh, when I think about how they have done so far in the final round of World Cup qualifying, I'm able to say that they have been solid, but they have not been great. Now, what is your response uh, to this statement? I agree. Um, I think that for the level of competition that we're in right now, which is Asia, I think they, they can hold their own. Um, however, you if you watch them closely, they are prone to quite a few mistakes here and there. Um, some games it shows more than others. So uh, you definitely do see some mishaps from them. Um, more than I think that you've seen some from from the previous center backs that we've had. Um, sure, we can sit here and debate about the systems that were played before by uh, the previous coaching staff, the Karish coaching staff. Um, but at the end of the day, I do just don't um, I just don't rate the the duo of uh, Khalzadeh and Kanani um, any better than uh, the previous duos that we've seen before. And this is obviously quite a statement because. You are a huge fan of Paris Police, but of course, at the end of the day, your biggest concern is Team Meli, the national team of Iran. Absolutely. I, 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 again, I think for the Asian level, they're both, uh, you know, really solid overall players. Um, cannot be biased towards my my Paris Police guys as much as I love them um, and want to see them do well. I, I, I have to obviously think about, as you mentioned, what's what's best for the national team and. Uh, I do think that we do have other options that are better and are have proven to be better. Um, so I, I do think that we should have some changes uh, coming up uh, as we kind of go into the World Cup uh, preparations next year. Now I'm going to mention something that I think is talked about a lot and repeated a lot. That is, Iran has only conceded two goals so far in the final round of World Cup qualifying. So what do you say to those people that fully support Hossein Kanani and Shoja Khaliazadeh. I just tell them to go back and look at the tape. Um, go back and look at the games versus Korea. Go back and look at the games um, uh, from the previous round against Iraq. Um, look at those matches. Uh, see how how many times uh, you, they got caught sleeping on a counterattack. The game against UAE. That's another prime example. Um, how many times have there been holes that were poked that didn't previously exist? So if you go back and look at some of those games, you'll see that there have been uh, quite a few times where the holes were exposed. Now, again, if we're talking about playing at a higher level, those holes are going to be exposed much more. So you need to make sure that your players, your best players, uh, are, are in the best positions to succeed. Um, I do not believe that Kanoni or Shoja are our best center backs and should not be uh, trusted in, in bigger games. For all those people that want to support uh, Kanani and Shoja Khaliazadeh, I would be very quick to say, take a look at the other teams in this group. When we saw this draw, that it was Iran, South Korea, and then UAE, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, that right there said, Iran does not have a lot to worry about. Yeah, I'm in full agreement with you. Um, I, 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 that's actually exactly what I've been saying so far is that uh, the level of competition that we're up against in this group 
Um, I, I, I do have the confidence in them to get the job done and they have got it done. Um, however, it's not been without error. And uh, th there have been quite a few errors that against better teams, uh, maybe even in the other group, if we're playing against uh, Australia or Japan, Saudi Arabia, Oman, um, those teams will make you pay for it. Um, maybe not UAE or maybe not Iraq, um, who uh, you know are not in the best condition right now. Um, so yeah, I, I agree. When taking a look at Iran's center backs, of course, we have no choice but to look at the four center backs that were called up for Iran's recent qualifiers against Lebanon and Syria. Those four players, Shoja Khaliazadeh, Hossein Kanani, Siovash Yazdani, and Majid Hosseini. Now, because of Majid Hosseini's improvement lately with Kayseri Spor in Turkey, do you see him, you know, getting closer and closer to getting back into the starting lineup for Team Ali? Yeah, I definitely think that it, it, it should be taken into consideration. Um, I think that he has played at the highest level uh, of, of all the, the center backs uh, that we've discussed. He's done well, um, you know, in the league he, 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 with Kaiser Espoir this year. Uh, the biggest reason he made that switch was for him to get regular playing time, which minus a few small injuries this season so far, he's gotten that. Um, and in a couple games, he's had some man of the match uh, worthy performances. So I absolutely do believe he's been in much better club form if you compare him to someone like Shojo Khalilzadeh, who um, there's video, been videos all over the internet with his blunders the last um, several months. So uh, definitely think that he does deserve uh, a starting spot, uh, especially over Shoja. Um, and uh, Yaz Dani, who is the other uh, center back who we've mentioned, um, do like his game a lot, actually. I do think he's an overall very solid um, center back. I think he's uh, maybe a little bit quicker than the other two. Um, uh, maybe a little bit uh, more aggressive as well. Um, so would like to see him be given a chance at some point. Um, again, maybe kind of like how for Haradoni we had mentioned that he should be a uh, tested rather at a time where we've already qualified. Um, would like to see some minutes for Yazdani in that moment as well. When you talk about minutes for Siovash Yazdani of Esteglal, I mean, let's just say he does get that opportunity to start. You know, who do you pull from that starting lineup? Shoja Khaliazadeh or Hossein Kanani? I would go with Kanani. Um, I just believe that Kanani is less prone to mistakes than Shoja is. Um, and also, I believe he's a little bit more physically um, uh, imposing on, on the opposition. So uh, I would give Kanani the edge over Shoja. Now, next, we can't help but bring up this player. And in fact, you once had the opportunity to interview him a few years ago. I'm talking about center back Ryan Tafazoli. Now, he's a player that a lot of Iranian football fans like to mention. Yes, he did say that he would be willing to play for Team Ali. And you know, not much has really happened, you know, involving Ryan Tafazoli. And, you know, we, you know, it's still kind of a mystery, you know, as to, you know, will he actually get a call up? There's been rumors before. There's even been rumors saying that he was once really close to getting called up, but there was problems with his paperwork. But when talking about him, you know, what, what is your, what is your opinion of Ryan Tafazoli? Do you think he's still Team Ali material? I think he's borderline um, Team Ali material, but I, I, and which I've always kind of believed that. But the only way that we can know for sure is if he's going head to head with the other center backs, which he's not had that opportunity. So I do hope that at some point he does get invited to a camp. Of course, maybe not for. Uh, World Cup qualifiers, but uh, hopefully we can get some friendlies uh, and some camps arranged next year. I think it's a very realistic expectation. So um, hopefully he'll have an opportunity at some point. Um, again, we need to think about also what he can do that others can't. So I believe that, of course, he has a very proven, strong track record of uh, you scoring from headers. Um, and also defending from um, defending the box on in, in the air as well. Hope that he gets a chance and um, gets to go head to head to see if he can earn a spot. We are getting closer to wrapping up this edition of Team LA Talk. Now, Dara, I think at the end of the day, you know, all this debating, all this, you know, all these, um, you know, sharing of opinions and all that. I think we're just going to get to the point where we have to say that as we get closer to the World Cup, that those two starting center backs must be Mortazap Poraliganji and Majid Hosseini. I mean, that's my opinion. 
Now, what about you? Do you feel like Hosseini should be that solidified starter with Corley Ganji, or do you feel like he has to really work a little harder, you know, to or to get that starting job once again? Fully agree with you, Art. Um, I do think that for sure the, the the harpy and the leader of the defense needs to be more to Zapparelli Ganji. He has been, I, I believe, since uh, the retirement of, uh, of Sayyid Jal Hosseini um, uh, in the national team. So I do believe that uh, he's absolute uh, non-negotiable, needs to be a starter. Um, as for the second spot, uh, I personally would like to see Majid Hosseini, and I do think that he is deserving of it. Um, but I, I do think it is a fair debate uh, to be had uh, between Majid Hosseini and uh, perhaps uh, Kanani's other gun. Um, so uh, for me personally, it's the same two as you. It's Mortaza and uh, uh, Majid Hosseini. Um, but I definitely am open to hearing the people who support Kanani. Um, uh, although I do think he's much more prone to mistakes uh, that maybe short, uh, Ma uh, sorry, Majid Hosseini isn't. And to everyone at home, who are your top two center backs for Team Eli? Leave a comment down below. Always looking forward to getting your input. And Dara, I'd just like to thank you for taking the time to join me on Team Eli Talk. I think we had a very good discussion uh, talking about the center backs for Iran. Of course, you know, these are two very, very important positions, you know, and of course, us Team Eli supporters, we always want what is best for the national team of Iran. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on again, Art. It's always a pleasure. And that's it, everybody, for this edition of Team Melee Talk. As always, really do appreciate the support. Make sure you get to our website, www.teammelietalk.com. Remember, this is your best source for the latest news on Team Melee, the national team of Iran. Make sure you find us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You know the handle, at Team Melee Talk. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button. See you on the next edition of Team Melee Talk.